Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode in my Unity Open World tutorial series. So in this episode, we are going to make this character uh, prevent going through colliding objects like this. So the character uh, in the previous case, the character went through the collisions without any problem, but now we don't have that problem anymore so that's what i am going to cover in this episode so in the current version there is a slight problem so when i keep walking sometimes the character submerge on the ground a little bit and sometimes when i rotate i feel kind of an offset because character is not like exactly at the center something is off so this happens I think because uh, by some mistake I have left 52 orientation 52 value here so that should be zero so when I fix that uh, now this works fine all right okay now that problem is fixed Mm. okay now I want to make this character prevent going through these objects like this so uh, at the moment it can go through the objects so in order to prevent such cases we need to use collisions this object already has collision it has this box collider so yeah now to have collisions we also need to have a collision for this character so first I'll add a capsule collider it should be not like this height let me increase the height and the center this should match with the height of the character center should be in the center of the character one let's set height to two this correct yeah it seems so oh uh, no I, I think height is a little too much mm. 1.6 and the center 0.8 uh, I think that's all right yeah this is better okay now the character has a capsule collider but still you wouldn't see anything any difference see still it can go through so that's because we are moving oh wait the character is slightly off the ground let me check again now it's here now it's no it's fine okay so yeah now I'm going to make this character behave uh, according to physics that means uh, uh, here what I do is I move the character uh, directly by changing the transform of the character that means um, where do I do that yeah 
all right it should be in the character moment and yeah here I directly translate the transform component of the character so this is uh, when I do this no matter what stands in front of the character if I am moving the character the character will be there without considering any of the collisions or anything so instead of moving the character like this now let me comment this part I should move the character based on the laws of physics so for that I'll add a rigid body component now let's see what happens well the character still moves ah right I didn't save this So, yeah, now the character don't move But uh, yeah, now let's make it move again, but this time I Need a reference to this rigid body So here I'll freeze the X rotation mm. Now I'll freeze all kinds of rotations because I don't need this character to rotate. I only need to move. Yeah, let's start somewhere here. So the character should fall down. Yeah, it does happen. Okay. Now. In here we need a reference to the rigid body of the character so i'll define a reference like this in this style like this so now I have access to the rigid body component of this character so since I have attached the rigid body in the same level same root object of the character I can get a reference without any issue using this method let me add a simple comment here Okay, now what? Now let's um, get the rigid body set velocity. Oh just velocity we can set this yeah we can set this and get this okay let's set this with the velocity we have so yeah at the moment we get uh, the velocity but this is just the direction it I think so anyway just to be safe I'll normalize it so we can only get the direction and let's see what happens okay the character does move but it's very slow and yeah now this time it doesn't go past 
uh, go through the objects so right now here let's define another parameter so like this private float max speed so as the default value I'll set 10 let's just use it oh oh sorry I already have the max speed parameter so yeah let's use this that max speed but now it should be even slower because I am using 0.1 see right uh, yeah here I can change the max speed let's try 10 and see what happens now the character falls down very slowly yeah okay yeah that's because here where, where yeah that's because here we set the velocity in each frame and uh, therefore the world the vertical component also been changed so I think we shouldn't do that but let's leave it like this anyway for now and let's focus on the movement speed no I need to fix it otherwise I can't test it properly so right uh, so now here How should I do it? Let's do it like this. Rigid body velocity. Let me cut this part. Equals new vector three. Wait, wait. I can't set yeah I can't set it like this I have to set the whole vector so new vector 3 dot x dot x max speed right dot z into max speed and for the y part use the same rigid body velocity dot z now I think I am not changing anything now it should freely fall down no it's not why is that ah sorry it's y not z and yeah yeah sorry sorry um, I mixed up this part this should come after Y now it should work see yeah it is working now 
and yeah now I can move fast but also my character don't go through rigid bodies or other colliders so yeah all right so this is what I wanted to do for today and I'll stop this episode at this point so I have uh, released a new project file update in my patron page so if you are a patron you can download it and yeah if you would like to support my work you can get the membership of my patron club link would be in the description below and thanks for watching see you in the next episode goodbye